One thing that crossed my mind at this year's NAM is just how much our ears grew through as music professionals and enthusiastic listeners. Just listen to the floor at NAM. It can be a lot on your ears and we definitely need to protect them so we can hear for a long time. Uh, even when you use in-airs or custom molds, we need products like this one from Minuendo. I met Ian on the showroom floor at NAMM and he brought this great little product to my attention. Check it out. So yeah, we're back at NAM 22, and we bumped into Ian from Minuendo, and he was gracious enough to tell us about these um, ear protection, which is important for musicians. That's right. So yeah, if you're a musician that likes to play loud or crank it up all the time, eventually you'll start developing possibly hearing loss or tinnitus, where you got a lot of ringing in your ears. So it's probably a good idea, like during rehearsals or. Maybe if with your band and you're practicing, you don't want to always play too loud. So eventually you're going to cause hearing damage and eventually you might not, like you'll be, lose the ability to work long term in the industry. So this company is called Minuendo and they've made these kind of interesting earplugs. They're passive and they have a little dial on them. And basically what you can do is you can dial the attenuation from uh, negative uh, 25 dB down to seven. Wow. And so when it's in the seven, it's just cutting the, the sound levels a little bit. You're still hearing it and it's still coming in really clean. You can still hear all the, the nuances versus like an earplug, a foam where you just shove it in your ear and you block everything out. As you go up to like 25, it's a little muffled, but you can still hear it pretty clearly. You can still have a conversation. So if you're also like a concert goer, it's really good because if you want to talk to whoever you're with during the show, it's really effective. Um, another thing about them is they have about, uh, I think there's 12 sets of ear tips. So when you buy them, you can kind of go back and forth and right. test them out and find out the best, you know, fit. So they don't, so they don't slip out. Right? Yeah, they don't slip out. And the other problem is too, is like if you move your jaw around, if you're a singer, if you have them in, you could get some clicking, right, right. in your jaw. So you can test them out, find a comfort fit, and usually you should be able to wear them for a couple, two, three hours. I, I you know, I, for me personally, I tried them out, and eventually, about after 15 minutes of going back and forth, they found ones that were really comfortable, blocked out the sound, and then I could just practice. And even with like a nylon string acoustic guitar, where the sound holes like blasting in your ear, or if right. you're a violinist. Yep. Like, like you're a violinist, yep. right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so yours. The sound is blasting in his ear on one side. Yeah. So you could dial the attenuation on one side. Oh wow. And you can kind of balance it out. So yeah. So that's some of the features. So basically, it's about trying to protect your hearing long term. If you want to be in the business a long time and yes. work and practice your craft, you want to be able to hear, you know, um, the dialogue in the TV or your girlfriend talking to you and right. not going, huh, what? You know, right, and, right, right. and you got you to gotta do it. And I got a, a funny anecdotal story. I talked to this uh, drummer. His name is Steve Ferrone, who was with, um, I interviewed him for the story I wrote. And uh, he was in uh, the, um, the Heartbreakers. And he had, um, one day he was doing a gig at Madison Square Garden, and he had the earplugs in his ear, one ear, so he could have his click track. And that thing was clicking, clicking. And all of a sudden, he hears a screaming in his ear. And he didn't want to like, turn around and talk to the roadie and say, hey, something's wrong, because the guy unplugs everything. So when the song was over, he said, something's wrong with my thing. He's pointing, he pulls it out, and the screaming was still in his ear. He was playing so loud, the click, and it, it damages his hearing, and they had to take him to the, the uh, hospital. Oh, wow. And uh, then he found out he had lost all kinds of hearing in his up highs and lows. and. And so, yeah, it was that's a, horrible. It's a crazy story. And I got a lot of other crazy stories. But yeah, musicians, when you get older and you just continually listen to loud music, you're bound to pay a price. Like, I'm, I'm actually was looking for something like that, because when you play when you play violin, it actually the sound also comes through your chin. Like so your ear can if, if you're using a lot of reverb, it just for some reason makes my ear like ring for like a yeah. day of ringing. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, and you're still, that's a perfect product. You're degrading it over time. Yeah. It's like it's 
it doesn't, it's like cumulative and all of a sudden, like there's been times for me, I'm, I'm aging myself, but I'll just have like screaming in my ears, like in the middle of the night, it wakes me up. It's oh, so bad. Wow. Wow. So I go, I, I used to make, I used to make money mixing. Mm -hmm. And so if you want a personal testimonial, my mixes start sucking because I can't hear the high at all. Right. And it doesn't, my mixes don't translate. So I took a long break from listening to any kind of music really loud. I, I carry an SPL meter. Another thing you could do is like on your phone, do an SPL meter. Yeah. And basically you can like, okay, if I'm, if I'm pushing like 85 dB for a long period of time, you're, you're going to have a problem. So I mean, you're, you're a blessing in disguise because I didn't even think about speaking about that, but that's definitely a topic that musicians need to know about. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is this has been a blessing for me as a, you know, yeah. PR guy. I mean, it's like my swan song. I kind of tell this funny story. <laughs> but I, got, I got an earplug company. I've been, and I've been guilty of like complete damage. But right. anyway, that's the, you know, thing you got to be careful about. I'm going to take them home and test them out. Thank you so much. Thank you.